Hey there, so in this last video, I'm going to show you how to make that APK really fast using a non-line Linux server. More specifically, you'll be using Google's Colab. Um, I did not know this until quite recently, but apparently Google has uh, an online Linux server that you can use. As long as you have a Google account, you can use this server and it's absolutely free. So let's get started. So before we start that, I should make a reference as to this website. This website is um, it's called Towards Data Science. It's written by this guy, um, Gupta. Uh, let me just look at the top. Yeah, three ways to convert your Python app into an APK. And it's Data Towards data towards science okay so um, so if you look if you go to this website now I'm gonna reference this website on the um, YouTube channel the all the instructions are here you can use my instructions or you can use these instructions doesn't matter so as soon as you go into your Google I, I created a new file here so let's just go back straight from the beginning so Google Colab just type in Google Colab into your search bar you'll find this welcome to to uh, collaboratory and then you'll start a new boy you can just close this and then you go file new netbook notebook and here we go you have a new page here and all you have to do is just copy and paste all the instructions um, there is a bit of a hiccup which I'll show you how to overcome but um, we'll get to that in a second so let's just copy and paste it so you know I'm gonna copy and paste this you have to use Control uh, C and Control V to copy and paste. So Control V to paste. V is in Victor, and um, there we go. Now it's uh, and you can actually do code by code. You can actually save this and have this run in sequence really quickly. So I'm just copying and pasting this code, and then I'm gonna pause it afterwards. I assume you want to see me do this whole process, so I'm not gonna skip out and I show you each and everything I do. Apparently, it's collab, you have to use these ex exclamation marks in the beginning for it to work. So, if you notice here, control V, see this ex exclamation mark? You need to have the exclamation. The only thing bad about this is that you have to be running as root, and if you're not running as root, uh, it's it's a little bit it's, it's a little bit tricky and cumbersome. Again, I'm I'm just copying and pasting all these all these instructions, and these instructions are very similar to the ones I have and even the ones online. There we go. More of everything. Are we almost there? This is the, the large one, I think. Again, all I'm doing is just copying and pasting code. And I'm just running it. And uh, here we go. Now we're gonna come across a problem. It's the same one that we had before in troubleshooting. And I'll show you how to overcome that. Um, but let's let's get to the point where, because we need to run this at least once to create the files. So it's gonna fail, but we need to run it at least once. There we go. Bulldozer init. Um, I have my own spec file. You can use your own. You can save it and, and you can save it and then you can use your own if you want. But I'm gonna run it here just for your sake. I'm gonna run it, run this. Control V, and I'm gonna show you how to edit it, edit it. So look, if you go here, click this folder right here, and I'm gonna click on yes. So the so the builder's spec file was created here, and if you double click on this, it shows you it right here, and you can edit it from here as well if you want to edit it. And I'm almost there. Okay, so this is the command that will allow you to build your. Uh, huh, this will this will allow you to build your uh, APK, the the la the the command. So uh, I think one more code. And this is keep forgetting to copy and paste. 
And uh, before we do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this. Delete file. I'm gonna use my own. Uh, I don't know if I gave my um. There you go. Um, drive, and I saved it right here. Bulldozer spec. Let me just open this up. Let's make this a little bit small. Bulldozer spec. And I'm gonna drop it right here. This so this is my file that I've made previously. Now here's a bit of a trick. So you have your um your file, and your file could be huge. Um, so let me show you what my file looks like. Let me just open this up and make this small. Okay, so here here's my file. So if you look at my file, I have uh, this templates. Well, that's it's only one template here. Here I have a whole bunch of Java files. So this is a, this this is a lot. Whole bunch of libraries, components, audio, CSS. But this is not. It is well it depends on how you look what a lot is. But anyways, point being, to get the easy way to get this there is I would do this. Copy your entire folder. Let's uh, paste that here. And what you do, I'm just going to rename this with lowercase. Oh, yes, you have to uh, make some changes to this folder uh, here on your main. And it has to be, it has to be named main. What you do is, uh, first of all, let's edit this. So you need to change debug to false. There, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, let me see if I, can, if I can zoom up. Anyways, over here is debug to false, and over here you have to. I'm gonna uncomp this. This is uh, from Android permissions. Import need that, and then you need the request uh, to read external storage and write external storage. And I believe I also have something there about. Um, but the GPS permission access to find location and access to course location. So all that needs to be uh, done. I just uncomment that. And I'm gonna close this. And once that's done, you have to I'm gonna zip the file. As easy as that. I'm gonna zip it into add local zip. Because apparently you cannot just upload one. We can upload one you upload one by one into the collab and it's a big pain in the neck so you might as well zip the whole thing together and, and upload the whole thing all at once so let's open this up let's minimize that let's put this to the side where's my zip here it is my zip is here i'm gonna drop the file here it's uploading it takes a little while once it uploads, you're going to need another command. So I'm not going to run this command just yet. I need to unzip it. So I'm going to click on here, put another code. I type in sudo. <clears throat> uh, I believe it's uh, unzip. And then dot this means this directory local.zip. And hopefully this works. And it works. So now you've unzipped it. I just hit the. You can actually hide these commands if you want. So it should be uh, done. Anyways, you're you're in the content uh, folder, by the way. See, uh, if you go back, you're now in the root, uh, at the, the beginning. And if you go to contents, everything is here. Here's my file. Here's the zip file, and here's the file that I just unzipped. And everything is in here. And you, again, you can you can open these up and you can edit them. See, you can open up and edit them right here if you want. If you need, if need be. Okay, so let's uh, close that up. Everything's here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run this at least once, and we're gonna come across a problem, and then we'll troubleshoot that problem. Okay, um, let's just run this. Hit yes. And I'm gonna pause the video and come back when um, when it when it fails. Okay, we're back. So here it failed right here. It says that uh, Adele is not found. Oops, let's go back. Sorry about that. 
addl is not found, please install it, and it's not found in this directory, in the root directory. So we're going to have to copy and paste everything into the root directory. So um, I'm just going to go here. This is a previous project of mine. So um, let me just copy. Well, you, can, you, can, you can actually copy, copy from that way. You you can only copy by hitting, um, well, I'm not quite sure, but I, I believe I, I just use control V or control C to copy and then control V to paste. So I'm going to make a new code down here and I'm going to explain this to you. Now, so if you go to the, um, the Python, um, if you look at troubleshooting, I talked about this in the troubleshooting, but even if you just go to the bulldozer site, bulldozer, bulldozer, I spelled it wrong, I spelled it wrong. Here we go, installation, and over down here, it says if addl is not found, please install it, and it gives you the, the direct, uh, directory. What you're interested in is here, this SK, SDK manager. You need to activate it, but you, you're not allowed, you are not allowed to browse through, uh, to browse through here. Let's close that. Sorry, let me just go back here. You're not allowed to browse through here through the root. So you're going to have to do the whole thing all at once. So here's the code. I type in sudo. The squiggly line means, I believe that's the, the home directory. Bulldozer, Android, everything here. And hope that, hopefully this, it, it exists. If it's not here, you can check the, um, the, the root directory by just changing this and type root. And I'm going to licenses. And this is the part you have to put in. And it has to be in the correct directory. Again, you want it in the Android SDK directory. So you, have, you type in here uh, SDK root, the squiggly line. Actually, it has to be in the root. Um, so this be, change that dash root bulldozer. Okay, and that's it. And then you run it. It says yes. Yes. So now it's going to work. Well, yes and no. You have to do a couple other stuff. There we go. And all the packages were installed. And you're going to have to do this again for oops, copy C. And you can save this. You can save all this code. And you can just run it all in sequence, really, like rapidly, by just going here, runtime, and run after, or run all. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Either or. So over here, copy V, and you just can change his licenses here. You're gonna change that to this one here, Bulldozer uh, 29. And let's copy V and run the code again. And we're gonna do the exact same thing a third time. Oops. Copy V. Oops, that's the wrong one. Copy C. Control V. And I believe you need to do it for the platform. Let me take a look at mine here. Here it was. Platform 28. Copy C and just change this to platform 28. You run this, and once you do this, that's it. it everything is done, I believe. Yep, and that's that's it. Well, let me just pause this. Anyhow, you're pretty much done. So now you have to do is your final code which is you're just going to repeat what you did earlier, which was up here, Android debug, copy, control C, control V, and just can continue and if everything is successful, which should be successful, you shouldn't come across any problems, you have, you're going to have your APK in this bin folder, so under content, here bin your APK should be there 
and you can see here it's going through and it's going through really quick. This is faster than my computer. So you can actually make these APKs really quickie, quickly using Google. And I think that's about it. So now let me just tell you about some of the problems I came across, which I haven't figured out yet. So number one, the icon, um, even though in my spec file, if you look at my spec file, I'm going to open this and, make, and enlarge this. Even in my spec file, I have everything where it should be. Here we go image icon everything where it should be even the splash file for the the splash works okay uh, but the icon doesn't work I don't know what I'm doing wrong maybe it's this I haven't tried it on my computer yet uh, even the, um, the backsplash here it doesn't work I even tried some hacks it doesn't work either and um, in this Lottie here that doesn't work either right and what's interesting, and let me just show you my file here. Um, let me just move this over here. So this is this is uh, what I've made thus far. Now, what you know, what you notice that everything looks fine and quick. However, and then this this is my computer, by the way. If I click on this, I can open up the the file here, and I can choose the file, and I can upload stuff. However, apparently, I was told that for this web view. Um, you're unable to do that when you click on this when you click on this nothing happens it won't like this is my computer and, and it opens which is great but on your phone when you click on this nothing happens it won't open so I think this is a, a, a downfall of using web view if you guys can figure it out let me know because I've been trying to figure this out for a long time because I, I would rather make an app on flask than anything else okay I think that's it that's about it that's the end of this video